Welcome back, scientists. Here is our book for today, Seeing the World Through Numbers, by Andrew Falk, illustrated by Jeffrey Ebler. Seeing the World Through Numbers. When you first see a number, it can look just like lines on a page. As you start to learn where different numbers come from and what they mean, they can help you learn more about the world. What do you think this number says about the world? And written on the notepad, it says Liz 128 centimeters. Sometimes you see a number by itself. That can tell you about one thing in the world. When numbers are put together like this in a line plot, they can tell you about patterns in the world. On the notepad it says, height of Mr. Vu's third grade class in centimeters. Notice all those X's on the left. What do you think these numbers say about the world? And that one X all the way on the right, what about that one? I bet you guessed whose height that is. Numbers can help us learn about things we can see. They can also help us learn about things we can feel. What do you think this number helps us learn about the world? It says 80 degrees with a capital F for Fahrenheit. What do you think the numbers in this line plot help us learn about the world? Do you notice a pattern? It says May daily high temperatures where I live in degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see all those X's and look how hard he's working taking the temperature every day. You can record the temperature every day for a month. If you make a line plot of all the temperatures, you can see the hottest and coldest temperatures plus everything in between. That's the range of temperatures for one month. You find the range by finding the highest number and the lowest number in a group of numbers. The May daily high temperatures where I live in degrees and now notice at the bottom it says the range now, 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature changed from day to day in May. Even so, the temperature stayed within a particular range from 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It was very warm every day in May. There were no cold days. Sometimes patterns in numbers can help us predict what the world would be like in the future. What if there were still one more day in May? What could you predict about the weather on that day? The temperatures in May were between 77 and 85 degrees. You can predict that the temperature on the last day in May would probably be between 77 and 85 degrees. It would probably be in the same range. Different places can have very different weather patterns. Let's say your cousin makes her own line plot of temperatures for the month of May. Your cousin lives far away. This line plot shows the temperatures in the place where your cousin lives. What do you notice about the numbers in her line plot? The title says May, da May Daily High Temperatures Where My Cousin Lives. And already look at those numbers. Look where all the X's are. When you look at both line plots together, what do they tell you about the May weather in these places? Which place would you go to if you wanted to be warmer in May? I know where I would go. Temperatures aren't the only numbers that tell us what it feels like outside. People use rain gauges to measure rainfall in millimeters. What do you think these numbers say about the world? How rainy was the month of May? On the notepad it says May daily rainfall in millimeters and then you can see all the days in May and all the millimeters for every single day a lot of numbers. It's hard to think about 31 different numbers at the same time. One way to make sense of a group of numbers is to add them together. Adding up a group of numbers gives you the total. For example, you can add up all the daily rain numbers to get the total for the month. This number tells you how much rain fell during the entire month. And notice at the bottom they added the total 105 millimeters. Totals are easy to compare because the total is just one number. You can compare the total rainfall in one month to the total rainfall in a different month. You can also compare the totals from two different places. May total rainfall where I live, 105 millimeters. May total rainfall where my cousin lives, 
56 millimeters. When you stop and look, there are numbers all around you. What do these numbers tell you about the world? I want you to take a minute and look at both of these pages and visualize all the things that these numbers tell you about the world. Here is your glossary with our vocabulary for today. If you need any reminders, line plot, pattern, predict, range, a new word, temperature, and weather. The end, I will see you guys back at our next video for the rest of our lesson.